In the video, we're doing Claire NYC tell the story about how he ended up in the hospital. Man, I heard about that on social media. I saw him like with the pictures, with the the um IVs and stuff in his arm, but I didn't know what happened. So let's get into it. Oh. I literally just got in the crib, Mo. Just got. He got the hospital bracelet on. Y'all see that on his arm? Y'all look next time. In the crib. I almost didn't make it, gang. I literally thought, bro, before we get into this, man, just thank God, gang. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Thank God you okay, Clear. I mean, seriously. That's scary. Come on, stream it right now. Hey, Lord, thank you for another day. Appreciate you, big dog. You know what I'm saying? Always. Love you. Amen. You feel me? Amen, Petty Fam. Thank God it clear okay. Oh my gosh. Poor thing. Y'all know what happened. We're gonna get into it. Um Um, we just want to thank the Lord. I'm not going to lie. I just want to thank the Lord. I want to thank everybody that sat there and prayed for me, actually prayed for me. Um, my mom, my mom, uh, sent me a, like a huge prayer over the phone before I went. And that, you know, that's so hard for his mom because she's so far away in New York and your baby in the hospital. And I don't care how old you are. You always your, somebody baby. So... Shout out to mom. I hope she okay. I, I'm glad that he out the hospital and he doing better. But I know between her and Queen, they was going crazy worrying about this brother. God bless you, Claire. To the hospital. Before I went to the hospital, um, Queen's pastor called in, prayed for me before I went to the hospital, Mo. Um... And I just want to thank everybody that kept me in prayer, man, for real, for real. Um, really meant a lot. I really thank all the prayer. Okay, somebody in the comments said that uh, it was food poisoning. Wow. Welcome back, Claire, for real. And everything really helped me out. I'm not going to lie, gang. For real, for real. Um, so, uh, let's let's start off with the story of what happened, right? Um, So... As y'all know, we've been meal prepping, right? Um, I actually think I poisoned myself. What? Um, so, <laughs> which is crazy. Not eating healthy, not meal pe prepping. You trying to do good. You trying to eat right. You trying to get your body together and then you get sick. What in the world? Claire, whole thing. Uh-uh. That's not right, y'all. I'm, I'm upset now. Not out of all the things you eat, out of everything that you can eat, the bad stuff you be okay with, get your body used to it, but not meal prepping. You trying to do good. You saw how hard y'all watch that video. Y'all watch my video. Watch the ads. But y'all watch the video. I saw how hard he was working. He cooked the steak. And um, I know, I think Queen cooked the salmon. I saw her cutting it up and they had a little beautiful couple video you know you just see how beautiful their relationship was and like you know they still together all the good vibes they had so much fun making that video i felt like i was there i wanted a plate and now he tell me he got food poisoning from meal prepping what in the world poisoning yourself is so crazy gang so we was meal prepping right so we made salmon chicken and steak right I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know if there was something already wrong with this steak or if I did it. I don't know. Like the doctor don't know. They can't tell me what exactly what it was or. We saw him put stuff on the steak. He didn't do nothing besides seasoning. You know, it wasn't like it was raw because he he cut it in the chunks. So we saw that too. Um, what happened? The 
only thing I could think of is I didn't eat no outside food. I didn't eat no outside food. He wasn't even cheating on his meal prep and he got sick. That ain't right. And all I did was eat the the meal prep, right? Um and I ate the steak. You know what I'm saying? Cause uh I made more steak for myself. So I ate the steak and the chicken. Queen, she was eating the chicken and the salmon. Right. Queen didn't eat the steak. Right. And Queen also didn't get the food poisoning that I got. You know what I'm saying? So it had to be the steak, right? Process of elimination. If we both had the chicken, the chicken good. Mm -hmm. But I had the steak and the I got sick, sick, right? Mm -hmm. Right? So I ate the steak, right? I, this is the third day I'm having the steak, though. The third day I'm having the steak, right? I ate the steak. I start feeling crazy, bro. I start feeling so crazy, right? Like, I start getting hot. I'm getting hot, bro. My stomach feel... And I was supposed to stream that day, bro. I'm getting hot. My stomach is, like, real unsettled. Like, you feel me? So, I'm like, what the fuck? Bro. His stomach having bad memories already. That's just terrible. Whole thing, you could tell he look. Do he look a little sweaty to y'all? He, you could tell he still don't feel good, y'all. You can tell. I'm, I'm so appreciative, Claire, that you made this video for us to let us know that you was okay. Cause I was trying to figure out what was going on. I was like, you know, it's been a while since you've been on his live, and Claire don't be missing no lives now. I mean, he be with, consistent with them. Like he be. Four, five videos a day, you know, at least two in a every two days or something. But like, I knew something was going on, and then I started Instagram posts. And I was like, uh, uh, I didn't know it was this bad though. Like an hour, like an hour and a half after eating the steak, bro, start throwing up. Right, I throw up. I'm like, what the fuck? But I'm throwing up, but I can't stop throwing up. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, I can't stop throwing up. Like, there's nothing literally left in my stomach, but I keep throwing up. Like, it's crazy, right? So then I, I try to eat again, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm also hungry. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The nigga's hungry, gang. I'm starving. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just threw up the steak. I'm starving. I'm literally hungry, right? So, bro, I literally, I eat something. Boom, throw it up. Like, immediately, I can't even keep anything down, right? Yo, bro, I was like that for four days. Imagine throwing up for four days, right? So, at this point, at this point, I'm like, Queen's like, you got to call the doctor. Like, we got to call the doctor or something, right? We call the doctor. We call the emergency room. We like, can we get, can we get some, like, um, some, some advice, right? Because this nigga's throwing up. This kid is losing weight. He's like, he just, shit is nasty at this point. Like, he can't keep anything down. Right? So, they like, all right, we can't give you no advice, right? We can't give you no advice over the phone, which is a dumbass, that's a dumbass rule. Whoever made that rule up, that's just, that's just dumb. dumb. I'm not going to lie. No advice over the phone. It's liability and stuff, but like, just tell them to go to the hospital, right? I mean, that's common sense. You don't need to make no whole diagnosis. Like, if you think it's something serious, and a brother and throw it up consistently, he can't keep nothing down, no matter what he eat. Just tell the man to go to the hospital. Oh, so what if I'm dying? Right. Like, what if I'm dying, bro? You can't give me advice over the phone, gang. Right. Niggas want you to come in there and pay that money. Niggas want you to come in there and pay that money, though. It's crazy, right? Wow, that was wild. I'm not going to lie. That was so wild. Don't do Claire like that. Y'all got to take care of Claire. Right? So then I, I, I Google, like, yo, like, poison. I think I got poison, right? Boom. First thing that pop up is... Poison hotline. I didn't know poison got a hotline. Like it says poison hotline. Seriously. That that's that thing is for real. It's legit, y'all. Fine. I'm like, fuck it. 
I'ma call the I'ma call the um I'ma call the um the the hotline the the poison hotline right so I get on the phone I get on the phone with the hotline joint right so I'm telling her what's going on she's like she's like have you been throwing up I'm like yeah uh, yeah give the prime link right here the prime link is right here she like she like have you been throwing up I'm like, have I? I've been throwing up for four straight days, right? right? Yo, I'm not gonna lie. The 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 hotline, the poison hotline, is official though. Shorty was Shorty was fucking with us, like she was giving us advice and all that. You get what I'm saying? Oh, I got the wristband on. I'm bugging. Right. See, that's the hospital wristband, y'all. The man just got out of the hospital. Got out the hospital. Came in here to see us. So she's fucking with us, right? She like, so you been, have you been throwing up? I'm like, I've been throwing up for four straight days. I haven't ate none in four days. Shorty said, it was her voice that got me. Shorty said, you've been throwing up for four days, <laughs> right? She repeated, yo, she repeated what I said. I'm like, nah, you didn't hit me the first day. I said, yeah, four, like four days I've been throwing up. She's like, you need to go to the hospital. I'm like, word? That's all I needed to hear. Like, we out. Because Queen been trying to get me to the hospital since day two. Come on. You know me, bro. I'm not trying to go to the hospital again. I'm from New York, bro. Right. I got you, bro. Every bro I know do not like doctors. <laughs> it ain't everybody. I ain't generalizing, y'all. So don't get on me about that. But the men ain't my life. Don't like doctors. Don't like hospitals. You can't make them go unless they got to go. But yeah. Queen, Queen tried to get you to go, but you know, sometimes you just need to hear from an outside source, you know? I know his mama probably told him to go to the hospital too, so, but you thinking like, oh, you know, it's gonna, it, I ain't eating nothing, it's gonna get better, I'm gonna feel better. Poe thing, that's torture. Poe Claire, y'all keep clearing y'all prayers now, okay? Seriously, y'all, for real, for real. Y'all, y'all praying, Petty Fam, get the prayer group together. I'm on the prayer list. I got PTSD with hospitals, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking every hospital is the same. Emergency room, I go in an emergency room. Because I've been to an emergency room in New York, bro. Niggas got gunshots. Niggas is coughing on you. Niggas is yelling, screaming, crying. It's crazy in there. I'm not going to. whole lobby full of folks. Don't matter what's wrong with you. Everybody got to wait. I'm trying to go in there, right? She been trying to get me in there since day two, right? Because just throwing up for two straight days is not normal, let alone four days, right? So once I told her I've been throwing up for four straight days, I haven't eaten four days, she said, you need to go to the emergency room right now. I'm like, okay, sure. Yep, yep, and somebody in the chat said, you need an IV because you're losing fluids, bruh. Buddy, calm the fuck down. You know what I'm saying? Don't scare me like that. Like, what you mean? She's like, no, that is very, that's very, uh, Unnormal. You need to go to the doctor. You need to go to the hospital right now. I'm like, all right. <laughs> I'm like, copy. We out, right? So Queen takes me to the to the to the ER, right? I go to the ER. They stick me with a whole bunch of. That was the first picture I posted on on the um on Instagram, right? They poked me with a whole bunch of shit, taking my blood, right? Uh, gave me an IV. Right? I started feeling better, right? right? They took my vitals. They said, nothing's wrong. It's probably just food poisoning. Right? And I specifically, like before I left, bro, before I left, I said, can I eat what I want? She said, yeah, eat as you, eat as much as you can. Like, eat as you can. That's some bad advice, y'all. I'm telling you that right now. Have y'all ever fasted? Have y'all ever, like, went for a while without eating something? Like, you can't just go from not eating, particularly when your stomach's sensitive and you have been sick. You know, even if you had a stomach virus, you got to ease your way back into eating now. And I know that ain't what he had, but you, you, if your stomach messed up, you can't just be going ham. You can't just eat everything. She should have told him to eat something, like, oatmeal or something like start slow potatoes rice or something crackers or something like if you feel like you can eat something eat it right 
I was feeling good, right? I was feeling good, right? I didn't do nothing that night. And the brother funky. He ain't ate it for days. The next day, right? I fuck up. I fuck up and it puts me right back in the hospital, gang. You know what I get? I order chicken strips. Chicken strips with fries, bro. And the shit. Not fried food and your stomach messed up. She should have at least told him not to eat fried food. Bro, I hope you didn't go back to the same hospital because that hospital was on one. That ain't right. Poor thing. And he just think, you know, he didn't want to go and then he still end up sick afterwards. I don't like it at all, y'all. You can tell. Do y'all see him? He look like he clammy right here. It look like he don't feel good still. Right? But that was the shorty's fault. Shorty said, eat as you, like, eat if you could. Nigga, I can eat, nigga. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good, right? Bro, I. He look like he's skinny too. Is that just me? I don't know. Maybe I'm reading too much into it. Eat the, I eat the chicken strips, boom. I start throwing up again three more days, gang. Now it's three more days, bro. I end up back in the hospital because now it's like I'm, I'm fucked up now. Now I'm fucked up because now it's not food poisoning because I'm eating chicken strips. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm eating chicken strips and fries, and I only had two chicken strips. My stomach, by the way, y'all, my stomach right now is this small, bro. I can't, I can't eat still. Like, I still can't eat much i can't finish nothing i'm eating like a rabbit look at this shit this is a salad with sliced turkey nigga i'm i'm a fucking i'm i'm a fucking rabbit you know what i'm saying my stomach is dead ass this small so i'm still fucked up i'm just not feeling down and all that but my stomach itself is just still fucked up i already lost mad weight gang look at i'm fucking like one i'm like 183 bro i'm one i told y'all you see him poke Dang. Now, you know, the boy lost all this weight. He ain't eating. That ain't right. 183, I feel like a skeleton. Before all of this, I was one. I was 192, 190, 193 or some shit like that. I'm 183 now, bro. Because I just haven't been eating. Um, but yeah, let's continue the story. So now I'm worried, gang. Now I'm worried because now niggas is telling me, because I end up back in the hospital. Now they telling me, like, your stomach's still messed up. Like, your stomach, you're still throwing up. It has to be an appendix. So if it's your appendix, we're going to have to get you into surgery right away. I'm like, hold up. <laughs> I'm like, hold up. <laughs> Time out. <laughs> Flag on the play. What? What the fuck you talking about? I've never had surgery in my life, and we're not about to do that. You know what I'm saying? All right, don't you need an x-ray or something for that? Like, I need you to go ahead and, and give some medical proof for y'all go cutting on Claire like this. Like, seriously. Oh, you know what? You know who else was worried? Lee? Poor Lee. You know that's her baby. She don't want nothing to happen to Claire. We not about to do that. We not about to just go into surgery, like, just because you said that. Like, you need to, you need to prove to me. Right. You know what I'm saying? We need to do something. Like, we need to take some scans. You need to do that x-ray shit. Whatever y'all got to do. You're not about to, we're not about to just rush to surgery, right? So, they, they we do that, right? I got to I gotta pay for the fucking CAT scan. I think they call it a CAT scan, right? So, now I'm in this machine like this. And this shit is, like, spinning around me and shit. And it's, like, taking pictures of my belly and shit, bro. And I'm in there, I'm in there till three in the morning. It's just me and Queen, bro. And I'm just nervous as hell, bro. I'm just praying, bro. And my mom prayed for me. Queen passed to pray for me, bro. And like, bro, I'm just praying. I'm praying. I'm praying, bro. Because I'm not gonna lie, the shit that scared me, bro, is because when I was in high school, bro, I had a friend that appendix burst, right? And he almost died. That shit could kill you. Like, imagine all of the waste that's supposed to come out in your shit and piss bursting in your stomach that's how my stomach felt though because i had a sharp pain right here bro and then the doctor's like yeah that's where your appendix is at so we're definitely gonna that's that's automatic surgery i'm like yo bro what i'm like come on bro please dear lord please like not surgery not appendix bro please not surgery 
surgery. And like you said, he already had some some trauma by his friend like that. Oof, that's a lot, Claire. Please, 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 anything, bro, but please, please, <laughs> please. Like, you know what I'm saying? So then I'm waiting, bro. Doctor come in at three in the morning. They ain't mad dramatic, bro. I'm not gonna lie. The doctor, I'm not just show you how the doctor came in, bro. Look how the doctor came in. He's so funny to me when he go demonstrate, y'all. I can't wait for this. Nigga rubbing his head. That, that is dramatic. You be thinking there's something wrong. Like, they don't know how to tell you this. Like, dang, that look like bad news. Rubbing his head. I'm, he's like, so, um, your stomach's hurting, huh? I'm like, nigga, you know, like, you read the chart. Like, you read the chart. Sherelle with the 10 gifted. Sherelle with the 10 gifted. She like, he like, your stomach hurt, right? I'm like, yeah, bro. I'm like, what's what's wrong? You got the results from the CAT scan? He like, he like, so I'm like, bro, hurry up, cause he keeps trying to talk. I'm like, yo, bro, what's the results, nigga? And he's like, everything came back negative, but he's shaking his head. I'm like, wait, say that. I'm like, so negative is good, right? <laughs> like negative is nothing. He's like, yeah, you like, everything's good. Um, what hap What happened was when you had eight again too quick. You ruined the stomach lining. Your, your stomach has a lining. I didn't know, but like your stomach has a lining that kind of protects it and is able to break down your food. Yeah. When you when when you had food poisoning, your stomach lining was gone. And it takes about 48 hours to get to grow your stomach lining back. And when you had ate again, when you ate the bullshit food again, you you fucked up your lining again. So that's what caused that pain right here. It wasn't your appendix. Everything's good with you. You're just going to have to take it real slow coming back, eating anything. I'm like, copy, bro. Take these needles off me, bro, and let me out the hospital, bro. Please. And that was, that was two days ago. And then uh, yesterday, I went out for the first time. I was outside with Ka. I didn't drink. I didn't smoke. I didn't do nothing. Um... That was like my first time really going outside on some sober shit, you know what I'm saying? But I just needed to get out, bro. I had to get out, bro. But God is good. I'm not going to lie. Thank God again. God is good. Amen. For real, for real, bro. I thought it was over. I really thought it was over, bro. Imagine throwing up for seven, like eight days. I thought it was over. I thought it was over. That shit, that, like, like, let's see, you remember that I said I've been through a lot of things, I've been shot at, jumped, all of that, bro. Food poisoning? Bro. Corona got nothing, like, yo, bro, food poisoning got nothing on Corona, bro. Corona what? Like, I will take three Coronas over, over one. He don't want you to take no Coronas, bro. Food poisoning, dead ass. It beat the chip, Michaela. It beat the chip by far, bro. Food poisoning, bro. Yo, bro, my eye, my face, like, I just look different. My face is swollen from, from. Man, I hope somebody feel better. They said they got COVID now. Poor thing. From, uh, throwing up, bro. My face is swollen from throwing up, bro. Wow, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, be careful what you wish for. You're right. Actually, I don't. I wouldn't rather nothing. I'm just saying I've had Corona, and it's nowhere as bad as food poisoning, bro. I'm not gonna lie. And I'm still trying to get back to myself. I'm again. I'm eating rabbit. Dang, somebody on the chat said he got shot five times. Y'all go pray for everybody. The food and shit. It's crazy. But we good though. I just can't eat shit. careful what you eat sweetheart i'll pray for claire because sometimes that salad be hurting your stomach too but i'm glad he eating the healthy still so he get, he get my respect for that he's still trying to eat healthy and he's doing good even though he didn't feel good Paul thing Paul claire
Tayana with the Risa. Appreciate you. Yeah, I said I've been shot at. I haven't been shot, my own thing. Come on, bro. I don't need to be praying over more things, bro. Been shot at a couple times. <sighs> that was bad, though, bro. But I seen a lot of y'all in the Discord praying for me and shit. And wishing me well on the gram. A lot of y'all was sending prayers and shit. Appreciate y'all. Shade Room, all y'all. For real. Be glad you back, clear. I don't know what I'll do without y'all. And without the big dog, man. The Gatorade's good, too, because he needs to replenish his electrolytes. That ass, man. But besides that, y'all know how I am. I got PTSD from steak, Mo. I, I, I don't even want to look at a cow. If I see a cow, I might slap the shit out of the cow. I swear to God. I might slap a cow. Fuck a cow. Word. Ain't fucking with no cows, nigga. I'm not, I'm not eating steak no more, bro. I'm not eating steak for a long time. Swear to, I swear. Give me turkey. I fuck with some turkey. Not no stat. I don't blame him after this though. That's a lot. I feel some kind of way too. And the crazy shit is, bro, I go outside yesterday, right? And you know Chris, the nigga that be helping me with the with, with my setup and shit, bro. That nigga had food shit too. They said that he had to he had the niggas had to, the the hospital had to remove a parasite from his stomach, mo. I'm like, nah, what is going on in the food today, bro? What's going on in the food today, gang? Yeah, mom. I'm sticking to the turkey. You know what it was, too? That steak, bro, there was only one more, too. You know how, like, they be trying to, like, get shit off, like, so they won't waste it? I be feeling like they be doing that sometimes. I'm not going to lie. Publix, I'm on your ass. Uh -oh. I feel like y'all be doing that, bro. I'm not going to lie. I fuck around. Somebody said I could have sued. Yeah, I fucking lucky. Cause I feel like it's not my fault. I just don't. I I don't remember cross contaminating. Like I'm a very clean guy. You know what I mean? But it could have happened. Yeah, we saw that. We saw that when y'all was washing everything down. It could. It could have. So, this is why I'm drinking Gatorade. I can only drink Gatorade, Pedialyte, and water. And I can only eat, I can't eat no meat yet. So, yeah, only turkey. Yeah, and I'm still taking medication because... I threw up so much, bro. My mu my stomach muscles were sore, bro. Like sore, like as in I did a thousand crunches, nigga. That's how my stomach felt. Like I did a thousand and one crunches straight, no break, bro. So they gave me medicine that like calms my stomach muscles and doesn't allow them to tense up like and then catch cramps and shit. Pause, pause, pause on that. I can't eat no meat yet, Mo. Exclamation point Discord. I think I fixed it. That's the... Uh...
So damn, man, we was on our way to 5K, and I took that fucking, I got sick, bro, and we wasn't able to get to that goal, but we still, we still on that mission, though. You know what I'm saying? We still on that mission, and we gonna get there. We gonna get there. Someone said, just eat Queen's ass, and you good. Nah. Definitely can't eat no ass right now. Not with no stomach lining. I can't eat no ass. That's, that's... That's a no right now. I'm scared to eat pussy. No cap. I'm scared to eat pussy right now. That's that was that was the thing that was mostly scaring me though. You know what I'm saying? Usually when I see Queen walking or she like getting naked or something, like my shit get rock. You know what I'm saying? I'm like I'm a young nigga. I know like y'all niggas be making fun of my age and shit. I'm a young nigga, bro. I get rock. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready. I'm here. Bro, I didn't get rocked for like <laughs> eight days, gang. I didn't I didn't get bro, I didn't get rocked for like eight days. Lord, I'm gonna have to let y'all go. I am so sorry, y'all. I did not know that we was gonna go into a whole other conversation. I'm glad he feel better. I'm glad he back to normal. I'm out. Deuces feel better, Claire. Love y'all to death. Like, comment, subscribe, share if you care. Click the bell become part of the Nova Squad. Add clear to your prayer list.